Hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to talk about contributing to Swift compiler. And I hope that you could get some ideas from my talk. So my name is Yusuke. I work for Merkari US. And I do both like backend and frontend for now. And at my work, I, well, I don't like Golang itself, but I like to, you know, write Golang as a backend, like stack. Um, so today, how did I contribute? That's my main topic today. Well, um, I think contributing to Swift compiler sounds really, really difficult. But actually, it was less difficult than I expected. So um, today, I, I want to share like my experience for that. So um, for me, it was community-driven contributions. What does it mean? So we all in Swift community, and we share our knowledge, experience in this community. And I think um, this is a place where we can take or give some ideas together. And speaking of community, TriSwift is a huge community all over the world. And there are so many awesome, speak, uh, awesome talks and also workshops. So for me, in my case, it was more like TriSwift driven contribution. Um, I will tell you some example. Um, so first, um, you need input. So this, um, let's take a look at open source Swift. Um, this talk, contributing to open source Swift, was given by Jesse. And this is all about like, how compiler works and also what the process to contribute. You can get basic ideas from his talk. And this is Swift pipeline. And well, actually, there are like, so many phases behind the scenes. Um, but you can, all, you can learn all, more details one by one. So first, deep syntax or Swift syntax. This talk, improving Swift tools with deep syntax, was given by Haram. Um, this is all about like, how Lexar works in compiler. So you can get some like, ideas um, to build like, static analysis tools using Swift syntax. And next, AST, abstract syntax tree. This talk, AST, metaprogramming in Swift, was given by Katsumi. And this is all about how parser works in the compiler. So you can also get some like, different ideas to write any tools using ASD. Next, SEAL, Swift Intermediate Language. And this talk, SEAL for, for first time learners, was given by me last year at TriSwift. And this is, this is all about how SEAL works. And you can get some idea from my talk, um, how, like how Swift code is optimized. So in this pipeline, we almost covered most of the stuff. Or if some of you are interested in like Andrew's talk, maybe we can you know, kind of dive, in, dive into LLVM a little bit. Um, so I think that's enough for input. So it's time to debug. Well, there's Open Source Swift workshop at TriSwift conference. And I think it's the best place to ask whatever questions you have or actually code something. So this workshop was my first time as attendee. And thanks to mentors, instructors, I was able to submit my very first peer. And this was, again, my first workshop as mentor next, uh, this time. And thanks to Apple's engineers, because you know, this is held by, at the uh, San Jose. So it was the you know, same time as WWDC. So there are a couple of Apple's engineers, uh, including Michael. Um, so again, I was able to submit my P, uh, another peer here. And this year, it's going to be my first time as instructor. Um, there will be also mentors as well. And I will do my best. So if you're interested, please come. So I think it's time to submit a peer. 
And one really important thing for me is that I believe any improvements are welcomed. So um, even like fixing typo, I think that's a good thing for first step. So recap. You can take as many ideas as you can. But don't forget to give your ideas too. Even tiny tips, you might be able to help somebody else. And I think it's always never too late because I was completely, completely a beginner for compiler stuff but um, I'm now even making my own compiler. That's because you know many people help me out. So this time I can help out something. Finally, I wanna say special thanks to Natasha, Mr. Pancake, and all of organizers of TriSwift Conference for making this happen because I couldn't do this without the community. Here are references to check out, um, so if you're interested, um, please take a look at that. So thank you very much for having me. Um, I'm really looking forward to see you again at the workshop. Thank you. <laughs>